Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Cursor Blade, the game that turns your innocent little mouse cursor into a deadly weapon. Whoa. Now you might be asking, well Matt, why do you need a deadly weapon? It's for these little guys here. They look innocent, but they have a deadly secret. They're the equivalent of puppies whilst they look innocent and they're, they're good for stabbing with your cursor. If you try to stab one whilst it's biting, you'll get nipped and it'll be very sharp and in the top left, you'll lose some health. Now, as we slowly kill these innocent puppies, <laughs> uh, we get to pick a new weapon, lovely. So we've got a shooting star, which drops the star to attack random enemies. Ice, chance to freeze enemies. Or magma leaves a fire trail that burns enemies. Let's go with the shooting star. And then this time, you'll see every so often, a shooting star will come in and bonk them on the head like that. So I can carry on doing my stabbing over this side and there's just stars flying in, destroying innocent slime puppies. Isn't that nice? Anyway, you'll notice these bigger ones, as you destroy them, they do split into smaller puppies. So we've got to be mindful of that. But uh, basically, that actually worked quite well. Thank you, game. Right, this time we get to choose an item. So we've got the onion, which reduces max health for all enemies. The heart potion, which, ooh, restores two hearts when you pick up a heart. Or a shield that orbits me to block. I think that's just going to confuse me. So I'm going to guess the heart potion might be better to do at this stage. We then get another weapon. So we've got ice, chance to freeze enemies. Porcupine, chance for enemies to fire out quills on death. That could be good. Or this one, the shroom. Creates a toxic spore around you. Oh. Chemical warfare. And I love a bit of chemical warfare on a Tuesday. However, I feel like porcupine could be really good because if you kill like one enemy, it could spread and do like a sort of a combo. So wait, what, what do these green guys do? Are they gonna... Oh goodness, they're firing at me. They're firing at me. Now, thankfully, I do have the right click ability to dodge. Still, let's stab these little guys. Now, you'll notice I did get a heart there. And because I got that perk earlier, it was worth two. Lovely. So I've just got to dodge everything. I was stabbing all these. You can see the porcupine quills out doing stuff. I'm going to wait for that one. Stab, 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 stab. There we go. There we go. Stab, 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 stab. Nice. Okay, porcupine quills. I'm actually quite, quite impressed with. Uh, new weapons target chance to deal triple damage. Ice freezing and then fire chance to do burn damage over time. Now, honestly, I might re-roll them. They're not inspiring me very much. Ah, oh, here we go. So we got the magma that we saw earlier or the porcupine. We can make our porcupine deal more damage or the stars drops more stars. I, I'm quite liking the stars just because that does damage to enemies that I'm not looking at. And um, what is that? Ah, ah, there's a homing bee missile after me. Oh, nice. Oh, I took it down. I took it down. Right. Stab, 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 stab. And destroying puppies. I never thought it'd be so fun. Stop it. Get some help. Now, I don't know. Is it better just to keep what I've got going? I get higher levels. Or is it better to add loads of weapons? I might just keep what I've got going. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so these little wizards, they shoot like three projectiles at once. So, ow, ow, that one got me. That one got me. <laughs> Damn my hand-eye coordination. Why am I playing a game that requires it? <laughs> yeah, right. Stab these. Stab these. Boosh. I'm so pleased with the stars. The stars are actually doing stuff. Oh, and that was a heart. Giving me full health because of that perk I got earlier. Love it. Right. Choose a weapon. The porcupine. Do more damage. I think if I can level up my porcupine, we will just be like laughing. I need to get rid of that B because we got home in B missiles after me. Boosh. There we go. The B is down. Oh, no. There's another one. Right, I've got rid of both the bees. We're good. We're good. Ow. I just got hit again. Why am I so bad at getting hit? I think I get impatient. That's that's my trouble. You need patience in a game like this. Right, we get to pick an item. So, Puff Fish deals damage to all enemies after taking damage. My aim is to not take damage. So, the Clover, hearts drop from enemies more frequently. Like the sound of that. Or Bubble Shield, become invincible briefly every 10 seconds. Oh no, briefly, sorry. Oh, bubble shield sounds good. Every 10 seconds is quite a lot. Is that enough to like help me though? Or am I better off just with a clover? Probably a clover because I've already got this thing. Hearts do too. Yeah, stick with the hearts, Matt. Stick with the hearts. Um, do I want fire chance to inflict burn? I feel like once I like hit an enemy, I do sometimes run away. So maybe fire would be good. Same with the bomb. Maybe a bomb would do explosive damage. I'm not sure if triple damage is worthwhile. I don't know what the chance is. What is the chance? I need more information. Anyway, I reckon let's go. Let's go with the bomb. Oh no, we got the we got the home in bees. We got the home in bees. And what the hell is that in the middle? All right, stab, stab, stab. There we go. I haven't seen a bomb come out yet since. Oh, there you go. There was the bomb. Did that do like area damage? 
Oh, I got electrified. Ow. All right, stay away from the electric. All right, now boosh, boosh, boosh. Yes, okay, that's going good. That's going good. We got bomb on there. Stab all these, stab these. Lovely. I need hearts. I do need hearts. Uh, should I do the star level three? Drops more stars to random enemies. Yeah, level three is good for me. All right, go wide, go wide. Get rid of those. Oh, get the heart. Stab the bees. Stab you. Oh, that was an easy round. That was an easy round. We've got a new thing. The cactus spawns a orbiting cactus that deals damage to enemies. Or we can upgrade our shooting star or porcupine to level four. Honestly, I feel like the shooting star is like saving me. So let's go with that. All right. Oh, no. What do the blue... Is that as soon as I hit them? No, they just decide to randomly shoot like that. Okay, but they shoot in like a big circle. So we've got to be careful of those. Let's try and get rid of the other shooty ones. So like you. We'll get rid of that mushroom. All right, run away. All right, now we're good. Now we just got all of these to kill. And uh, this should be out. I was going to say fairly easy, but then I just got bit. Boosh. Die. Oh, there's bombs going off as well. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Nice easy round again. And we get to upgrade our shooting star to level five. Okay, so lots of stars coming in now. Oh, look at that. Anyway, right. Deal with these. The, the stars are really helping. I'm not going to lie. They are really clearing the page. Oh, pick an item. The snail. Reduce enemy, enemy projectile speed. Question, for someone with bad hand-eye coordination, is that actually going to hinder me more because the projectiles will be on screen for longer? Or is that good? We've got dice to add three more re-rolls. An hourglass, longer invincibility time after taking damage. I might actually do the re-rolls because then I can upgrade my stuff even more. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, choose a weapon. We got that thing again. We got the lightning. Releases a lightning bolt that jumps to nearby enemies. That could be decent. But at the same time, porcupine to level four. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, they got moustaches. <sighs> Why have they got moustaches? Does that mean they're really strong? Everyone knows the sign of strength is moustache. All right, let's just get in there with these. We got to watch the watch the bitey ones. They look like Pringles. <laughs> Mr. Pringle, whatever he's called. Right. These weapons, aside from chemical warfare, don't really rate... Do I re-roll or do I just go chemical warfare chemicals? So yeah, we've now got the ability to just go near enemies and poison them. Lovely. Oh, I just got hit. I just got hit. Right, we've got to be careful. Got to be careful. Now oh, I just got hit again. Now, now I've got to be really careful. Oh my goodness. All right, there's a heart. There's a heart. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Stab that right now. We're good. Stab, 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 stab. Oh, that was terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. Let's get my shroom up. And hope we get a heart ASAP. Oh, no. Oh, no. Loads. Loads of projectiles. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Right, thankfully, I can just go close to them and do damage. Oh, dear. Without worrying about being stabbed. Oh, there's a heart. There's a heart. Right, yeah, the porcupine. Once you get like a death, it really does spread. Okay, hand-eye coordination. Come on. We can dodge this. We can dodge this. Get rid of the mushrooms. Oh, my goodness. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> this game's terrifying. I right, get rid of them. We've got another heart. We're up to full health. You Right, choose a weapon. Do I want to add or do I want to upgrade? I've got all the rerolls. I wouldn't mind a bit more porcupine, actually. But I'm thinking, should I take the lightning just because it spreads through enemies? I think I will. I've done it. So we've got another weapon now. Right. Oh, dear. Okay, we got to dodge. we got to dodge all of this incoming projectiles. Then we got to try and deal with the Pringles. But yeah, I think first off, let's just try and deal with the shooty ones because I don't like shooty ones. Right, that's good. That's good. Now we can just can just sit by them. You can't hurt me, but I can hurt hurt you. Ow. Okay, that one hurt me. Shut up, game. <laughs> All right, and then we just wait for them to be less bitey, and then you play with them. They are just like puppies, honestly. So, ooh, alarm clock. Deals double damage briefly at the start of every wave. That could be really good if I want to just go in there and, like, just go mental. I'm seeing the benefit of the snail now, reducing enemy projectile speed. There's also a cake. Recover all of your hearts. That will only be one. Don't care about that. Do I go with the snail and play it safe? Or do I go with this one? This is like high risk, high reward. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Shooting star, level six. Drop more stars. Right, so at the start, boosh. Okay, that was uh, that was actually quite good. But there's a lot of enemies about. There's still stuff shooting. There you go. We've got rid of the, the home in. 
get rid of this thing now. And then we just got the Pringles to deal with. Nice. Okay, another round done. Ooh, and another shooting star upgrade. Level seven. Yes, please. So yeah, the start, boosh. So that's what we got to do at the start. Just do a little bit of stabbing and then just run away. It's okay to run sometimes. But you don't you don't have to think any less yourself because you run away. You just know your limits. Engineers, you gotta know your limits. That was that's all engineering is really. Anyway, we'll rinse away through these. I am getting impatient. I'll probably get hurt in a second. I haven't seen a heart for a while. Considering I've got like increased chance with my clover. Not sure what's happened there. Um, do I want higher chance to attach a bomb? I think lightning might be better. So that's just gonna help my early sort of early barrage boost. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot to deal with. I somehow dodged all those projectiles, but I'm being tight. <laughs> I don't like the home in B thing. Right, anyway, another upgrade. Oh, finally get to upgrade my porcupine. That could be very good. Right, deal with the B, then deal with the electric. Nice. Then the mushroom, then it's just the Pringles, but we have lost two hearts. So I need a heart to appear. That will get me full health again, remember? Oh, Apple, add two max hearts. Yes, that is perfect. And then a porcupine up to level six. All right, early damage, early damage. Now run away, now run away. All right, now try and dodge everything. Oh, decent. That actually went amazingly. Just pick off the scary things. Get rid of the mushroom. Oh, this was incredible. Look at the shooting stars coming in as well. Oh, I'm loving this game. I'm loving this game. Fair play. All right, choose a weapon. Do I increase the size of my toxic spores? Yeah, I think I will. Double damage at the start. Ooh, didn't quite pay off. I'm getting hurt quite badly. Run away, run away. I've dealt with the most dangerous stuff now. So we're good. Get rid of you right now. It's just Pringles again. Phew. All right, I am down to two hearts though. So it didn't go amazingly, but that is the end. What? And I got a score of 30,690. Nice. But now we get to try with this little guy, the Stone Blade. So our ability this time, rather than dodging, is to put up a defensive wall around us. A Stonehenge. So yeah, the, the downside with this one is we do a lot less damage. The positive is we've got way more hearts. Now, the question is, do I want to start with Chemical Warfare? Are we setting Are we setting the tone for this run? I think we are. So let's just work our way through these little puppies. Ow, I got hurt. And then for our item, let's go. Oh, should I add more hearts? More hearts, the better. Why not? And then let's try something we didn't try last time. So the magma, that leaves a fire trail behind. Oh, it does leave a fire trail behind us. That's cool. So yeah, if I pass through all of them, they all they all just burn, which is quite nice to see. Uh, let's Yeah, we're going fire run this time. So chance to inflict burn. Yes, please. So all get rid of the homing ones. Get rid of the, the catapult. Then chance to triple damage or keep the chemical. Let's keep the chemical warfare going. All right, we do have to be careful. I am actually losing quite a bit of health. I had so many hearts, I thought I could be cocky, but you can never be cocky. Not when there's architects lurking at every every corner trying to take you out. Uh, we'll increase our chance to inflict burns. And then, ow, I took another bit of damage. Ow, I'm down to one heart. How did this happen? All right, I just got to get rid of the shooty one and then I'll be fine. All right, because now I can just I can just chemical warfare it. I don't even have to get close to him. But, oh, nice. I just picked up a heart as well. That's lovely. Okay, so for the item, bubble shield could be good. I sort of want something that will get my hearts back. I'm not going to lie. Do I re-roll? No, let's go bubble shield. So, oh, look, I got the bubble shield straight away. Uh, we'll get an orbiting cactus as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, oh, I just took more damage. I thought my thing was active, but it wasn't. We've got the, we got a lot of bees to deal with. All right, got rid of one. We got more to deal with there. Oh my goodness, that was so close. That was so close. All right, there's a heart. There's a heart. Go get the heart. There we go. There we go. All right, stay away from the bees. You don't want to go near the bees. All right, okay, now we're good. Now we're good just to sit here, do all the damage. Zero risk of getting hurt. Lovely jubbly. Oh, what does the cactus level two do? Oh, spawns another one? Yes, please. Double cactus. The cacti work very well. Combined with the with the chemicals. Loving it. All right. Higher chance to inflict burn, please. And then, oh, run away, run away. There's a lot of shroomage going on here. Oh, there wasn't a heart. There wasn't a heart. Anyway, magma level two, our fire trail will last longer. Yeah, why not? All right, then we run away. We run away. We play it safe. I've only got one heart. I don't like having just one heart. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, I've got a bubble shield, which is probably going to help me quite a lot. I really could use another heart. Game, if you're listening. If you're listening, game. Yes, yes, it gave me one. It gave me one. I can't believe that worked. 
Uh, for now, yes, heart potion. Two hearts when I pick up a heart. We'll make our magma better. All right, then we wait for bubble shield. Where is it? There it is. And then boosh through all those. Okay, this is this is quite a good build. I can I can get used to this. The Pringles don't stand a chance when the bubble shield comes out. Oh no, I took a hit. Oh no. So bubble shield doesn't last as long as I hoped it would. Still, hopefully the game will give me another heart because the game's nice like this, right? It didn't give me another heart. Anyway, let's add another cacti. All right, then let's just run away. Stay away from the homing bees. And then I'm just waiting for my bubble shield, I think. But for now, I'm playing it safe. Right, there you go. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Die. Okay, got rid of the homing bee. I'm waiting for bubble shield again. I'm just playing it safe. I don't care. I don't care if you call me a wuss. All right, then more chemical warfare, please. More. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a lot of, a lot of damage. I got rid of one of the mushrooms with my bubble shield. I'm just going to uh, play it safe and wait till I can do it again. Just focus on dodging. Right, there we go. There we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it does leave like a proper fire pit. Right, come on, bubble shield. Where are you? There you are. Boosh. Okay, nice. We're safe. We are safe. I just need another heart. Please, game. It's, it's not giving me one. Anyway, more fire. Carnage at the start and then just dodge. All right, we got to play it safe. Oh, my goodness. Another easy round. Let's hope we get some hearts at the end of this. Oh, nice. We actually did. We've got three hearts now. Oh, deals one more slash damage per missing heart. Well, I've got four missing hearts. That's a lot of extra damage. Yeah, I'm going to reroll these and then get more chemical warfare. All right, and then it's just a case of dodge the bees, get the electric guide gone, get those gone. All right, and then we are actually making progress on this build. It's just it's just a bit of a different play style to my last one. All right, then I'm going to add another cactus. We've got four now. And they are really allowing us to plow through these levels. So I'll add another cactus. So we've got five. Do all my damage at the start. Out. Take a hit because I wasn't paying attention. Then run away from everything. Then wait for the bubble shield. Wait for the bubble shield. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Boosh. Oh, no, I'm down to one. I'm down to one heart. I'm down to one heart. Oh, there's another heart. Thank you very much, game. Oh, no, I just lost one straight away. <laughs> Why am I so impatient? Anyway, another cactus. We got six on the go now. Two hearts I picked up there, so our health is back up. Get rid of the lightning. Out. Get rid of the bees if we can. There we go. Then after wiping those guys out, we are on to another item. Projectile speed or re... I'm tempted just to re-roll these, see what there is. Oh, I could fill all my hearts. Yeah, three more hearts. I think that's good. That's probably safe. We'll go with more chemical warfare as well. And then at the start, boosh. I lost loads of hearts at the start, but I managed to pick another one up. And the level is pretty much done as well. Like having more hearts just makes me cockier. And then it makes the rounds go way faster. All right, more chemical warfare. More carnage at the start. And then, oh my no, there's so much to dodge. <laughs> right, just don't be scared, Matt. You've got like, yeah, you got all the hearts on your side. Die, Pringle Man. Lovely jubbly. What was my result? Oh, I didn't beat my high score. That makes me sad. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Peace, love, and never underestimate the power of a cursor. Bye, guys.